Should we invest or pay off the house? My wife received an inheritance of $500,000. We paid off our debts, maxed out both our Roth IRAs, maxed out our 401k, HSA, 20k emergency fund, and started 529s for two kids. Should we pay off our mortgage of $275,000 with a rate of 2.5% or invest and retire early at 55? So there's a couple ways to look at it. Some people might say like this is basically like free money at 2.5%. Why wouldn't you basically just invest your money? Because basically if you invest in your money into the market, minus the difference of the or the the two point five percent, you're probably like profiting in a sense like eight percent basically, seven percent roughly, depending on what you're typically getting. So that's one route to look at it. The route that I look at it is more of a freedom and no stress aspect, right? So I pulled this up. And it's like a mortgage payment calculator. It's not going to be 100% accurate, but I'll just put it like this. So the home purchase price is, what? It was like, hold on, 275, right? 275,000. Calculated at 2.5%. So their monthly mortgage payment is about 1087, right? To me, I would pay off the house just because this would decrease my monthly living expenses by 1087. Like, I like the freedom, right? I like the aspect of like mentally, I know I'm having so much cash coming in every single month that doesn't have to go out to pay bills. It's just like a mental aspect for me personally, right? If I had the option of paying off the house or putting that towards investments, I would personally pay off the house and have basically no living expenses pretty much like at all, right? Meaning that like if I were to lose my job, et cetera, whatever, right? I would be able to cover my living expenses with even like a minimum wage job and not really worry about anything, right? That's the way that I would view it right? More of like a risk adverse kind of thing where like, I just, I just like the mental freedom of not having to worry about constantly paying bills. This person says invest 2.5% is practically free money. Yeah. Basically what I was saying, some people would view it that way. No, you should not pay off 2.5% debt any faster than you have to, at least right now, even savings accounts pay better, blah, 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 blah. A lot of people are saying invest. So I'm similar, 43, and have everything paid off and 400K for retirement and still maxing our two Ross each year. No greater freedom than being debt free. Could you then change jobs and do something more enjoyable? That's important also. I'd pay off the house. My line of thinking exactly. I have about 250,000 in retirement now have a decent paying job, but don't necessarily enjoy the work all the time, hoping to pay off my mortgage by 50 and then switch to something else. Do both 50-50, pay down 250K of mortgage and invest 250. Bah, 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 bah. Drunk enough to say I'm team pay off the mortgage, then invest the payment plus as much as you can after. Yeah. So they're what, age 39? I'm a strong no, do not pay off the mortgage. A lot of people want to just keep the mortgage. Interesting. I see that you want the house paid off by 50. Here's where goals-based planning shows up. Using an early mortgage payoff calculator, park your money in assets that will make you money, but take enough out each month and throw that towards the principal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a lot of people are saying invest, invest, invest. This one says pay off your mortgage so you don't have to worry about debt again, then invest the rest and retire early.
Most everyone will tell you not to pay off 2.5% early. They're not wrong, but it's also a personal choice. I always struggle with growing wealth, hopefully through investing and hating to be in debt. For me, it fully depends on how long ago you bought your house and if you intend to keep your house long term. If it was recent, then paying more, not paying off, towards principal saves you a ton of interest and can shave years off your loan. That feels good. But if it's been a while, then you won't save much in interest and it's not worth it. You just make yourself feel better by lowering the loan and not gaining much else, in which case put the money into another investment that will benefit through retirement and benefit your children. Yeah, to me, my personal choice, what I would do, again, in this situation, is just pay off the house, right? Because to me, like just mentally, I don't like the idea of having to pay 1087 a month, right? Like, I just don't like the idea of paying that. Even though technically you're kind of like, you know, putting it towards the house, it's still like the amount that you're paying in interest as well by the end, it's just horrendous. Now, again, it's not going to be accurate because I don't know how recent they did actually buy their house. But, no, no. I just don't like that, right? I just don't like that like, the idea of people having something over me in terms of, like, oh, you still owe this loan. You still got to pay us our money. It's just, like, ugh. it's kind of like a dirty feeling. 